What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 3. You know, we had a little bit of a talk about what brought Draven back to Pokemon Yellow and the Studio of Doom and all that crud. And now, here we are, we're about to go into Mount Moon, and well, Mount Moon, we have a history together. Because there's a lot of Pokemon trainers, there's a lot of items, there's a lot of Pokemon encounters. So, yes, please excuse all the Pokemon battles because, uh, yeah, we, 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 we're we going to be having a lot. There's no repels, guys. There's literally no repels until we get to Saffron or Celadon, I think. Huh. Anywho, yes, that's me crying. Yes, we are here in Mount Moon, and, well, this is home to one of the few Pokemon that we're going to be capturing. Now, I did that on purpose just so we can start battling. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? I look a little suspicious, I do. Yes, I do. But no, I am not suspicious. You are suspicious because how do you bring a Bug-type Pokemon in a cave right here where there's filled with nothing but flying and rock-type Pokemon? I'm just saying, okay? So here we are battling a Weedle, and well, we're going to take our risks right here with Pick Hammer. We do have an antidote. Make sure to... Yeah, make sure to stock up on items like potions, antidotes, a few uh, awakenings, and, you know, paralysis heals. Because, yes, yeah, we're going to be... A lot of these trainers are capable of doing all that stuff. Like, Weedle right here will poison you. And, uh, well, let's see. Some of the Pokemon you can actually find right here. Let's see. Hold on just a sec. Yes. Yes. Okay, here comes a Cocooneth. So, let's go right with Tornado. Oh, actually, let's go with Aaliyah right here. So, some of the Pokemon you can actually find in the first floor. Sandshrew. Clefairy, Zubat, and Geodude, and well, best believe we're going to capture one of those Pokemon right there. And look at this. Okay, so we are using our uh, our Pikachu's might right here. And there goes a Thundershock for the win. Critical hit for the win. And well, Bug Catchers no more. You got me! Yes, I did. Okay, so there are quite a few items that you can find around here. And, uh, well, there's a Zubat along the way, and, uh, I do not want to battle this Pokemon. I really don't. So, we're gonna be running away. Yes, we're gonna, yes, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon around here, guys. And since we do not have any kind of repels, yeah, we're gonna have to make, we're gonna have to get used to the whole getting interrupted by Pokemon. So, here we have our first item, which is a potion. Very nice item, and well, if you go downstairs right here, you're going to be finding another item, which is a TM-12, I believe it's Water Gun. Now, yes, we're going to be battling a lot of trainers, but as you can see, guys, look at that. I'm going to capture this guy right here. So, as you guys probably don't know, there is going to be quite a few changes onto my, onto my team. Um, I did say I am going to be switching up Pokemon here and there. Um, some are going to stay the same. Some are going to, you know, be new and different because, you know, I kind of want to try some new things. And one of those Pokemon happened to be Geodude. Now, my thing right now is that, yeah, he is uh, going to be a little stronger than usual. There we go. Throwing the Pokeball. And, yes, throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here it is. Our newest member to the team, Geodude, the rock Pokemon. Commonly found near mountain trails, etc. If you step on one by accident, it gets angry. So let's go right ahead and give it a good nickname right here. I am thinking about something good. Something awesome. Let's see. It's a Geodude. Let's just call it Geomon, okay? Because, uh, oh no, you know what? Not, not that. How about Goldemon? Or something, something Digimon related. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Let's go with this. Let's go ahead and call it Terramon because, well, oh crud. <laughs> Misspelling it. Hold on just a sec, guys. Terra. Come on, press that button. There we go. Say hello to Terramon because, well, you know, it is a cool, cool name for me. So I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to heal up some Pokemon and then I'm going to show you Geodude right here. See you guys. Okay, guys, so we're back, and, well, let's take a look at our first, well, our newest Pokemon, Terramon. So, as you can see, Terramon is both a rock and ground type Pokemon. It does have a pretty good attack and physical attack and defensive stats. Its speed is not there, but it's special too. And it does have one attack right now, which is Tackle Attack. Now, ever since I learned how to 
actually, you know, combined the VBA games to the Nintendo 64's uh, Project Emulator and all that crud. I've always wanted to use Geodude for some odd reason. I've always wanted to use it alongside with Golem since, you know, there's literally no Golems appearing in this game. So, let's go ahead and teach it Bide since, you know, it's a very defensive Pokemon. It could actually use that for, or it could actually be of good use for this Pokemon. And I was correct, TM12, nobody can learn it. But yes, we are going to be using our good old Pokemon, Geodude, right here. And, well, since we played this game quite a few times, let's go ahead and go with Project Pig Hammer right here. So, seriously, yes. Again, we're going to have to get used to the fact that we're going to be interrupted by a lot of Pokemon right here. And, as many of you guys already know, yes, I am going to be using a Zubat. Or, not using a Zubat, but we'll be capturing a Zubat and all that stuff. What? I'm waiting for my friends here! Okay, alright. Okay, so... Here we have Alas, and she wants to fight, and she has a Clefairy. And, good thing for us, we got Project Pig Hammer, a pure fighting type Pokemon. Let's go with Low Kick. Sweep the leg! And, critical hit. Okay, alrighty, and there comes that Growl Attack. Thankfully, it is not a single attack, so there we go. Growl attack yet again for the win. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. And Project Pick Hammer grows to level 13, which is great. Yes, the team is being balanced. Okay, you lost. Yes, you did. Okay, so let's move on right here. So, let's see. Is there another story involving the creation and evolution of this whole channel? Or, you know... The whole studio thing. As you guys already know, I am actually recording in my new studio right here at work. It feels great to, you know, actually have a place for myself in all its privacy and all that crud. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to do more things around here like the 3DS games and Nintendo D uh, the Nintendo Switch games and all that stuff. Now, here we are in the second level of the basement, and once you step up here, you're going to be finding a shady character. And this guy's like, we, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. You don't say. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Our first Team Rocket member. And he's going to be coming out with a Sand True. And, uh, well, we picked the wrong Pokemon for this situation. So let's go with a quick attack right here. And that right there is uh, not effective. Oh, good gravy. Okay. So we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Project Pick Hammer. And, uh, well, hopefully we win right here. Here comes a Sand Attack. Does not work. Let's go sweep the leg. And that actually takes a lot more. Sweep the leg again. And just like that, Sandshrew has been defeated. Okay, so he's coming out with a Rattata. You know what? Let's go ahead and just continue on right here. Let's go straight for a low kick. Sweep the legs. All of its hind legs. Yes. And there we go. We just get another victory right there. And here comes a Zubat. So let's go straight for, straight back to a uh, Aaliyah right here. Now, where, where will I use Terramon? Just wait and see, guys. Just wait. I got a strate Strategia Magic right here. And here goes a Thundershock attack. Nearly defeats the Zubat, but it paralyzes it. Yes. Yes. And that's... Well, that quick, well that Supersonic will not work. And, well, here comes a Thundershock attack for the win. And, uh, yes. Alrighty. So, we defeated a Team Rocket member. He's like, I blew it. Yes, you did. Uh, darn it all! My associates won't stand for this! Huh. Well, that's on you, man. Alright, so if you go right here, you'll be able to find yourself a an HP up. Now, the funny thing about vitamin uh, vitamins is that you can use them to raise up your Pokemon stats, or you can actually sell it for a very good price. That way you can have a little bit more money to buy other equipment. Me, at this point right now, I use it to actually buy some extra equipment that I need for this adventure. Now, I don't need, I don't necessarily need to buy an escape rope, but if you guys want to, to have one in handy, that would be a good idea. And well, there's a Zubat right there. Again, I'm not gonna edit out all these battles right here because well, you know, yeah. So let's go ahead and continue on right here. And we will be finding some other Pokemon trainers. And, uh, well, as you can see, there's one guy. What? Don't sneak up on me! Okay, so how, how do I... How did I sneak up on you if, like, uh... I don't know, man. The super nerds are completely weird. And here is a new Pokemon, Magnemite. Now, in Generation 1, it is not a an Electric-type Pokemon just yet. Or it is not in a Steel-type Pokemon just yet. 
He doesn't have any of those stats and all that stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that bite attack because, yeah, we are slower than this Pokemon. So here comes a bite attack. We're going to get double attacks right here. And we do have the defense for this whole thing. That's one. Let's go ahead. Come on. Keep on hitting me. Use it. This is strategic. This is strategy, guys. And, well, unleash the energy. And just like that... Well, that wasn't that much. Holy crud. Okay, so... Yeah, depending on how much uh, we get hit or how much HP we lose, it's it just it just depends. Now, this is going to be a tackling fest because, well, Magnemite, not necessarily a steel type yet. And, well, here comes another tackle attack. Okay, alright, not super effective, but here comes that tackle attack. It's a tackle fest. Tackle fest, who's going to win? The electric type Pokemon or the uh, rock slash ground type Pokemon right here. And, well, there's that tackle attack. Not effective. Here comes that tackle attack. Very effective. And Terramon has uh, won his first battle. And, well, Aaliyah grows to level 14. And this guy's about to use a Voltorb. Don't worry. I got Terramon right here. Terramon! Crap baskets. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be missing a whole lot of times. And that Screech attack lowers a, person or a Pokemon's defense by 2. And, well... You know, Terramon, it is a Rock-type Pokemon. Thankfully, its stats or its defensive stats actually protect it and whatnot. And, well, not super effective. A tackle again. Come on, Terramon, do it! Yes, this is the reason why this video is a little longer than usual, guys. But you guys enjoy it, right? Probably. I don't know. And there's a tackle attack yet again. A critical hit, not so effective. But guess what? Tackle attack. For the win, Terramon wins. And there goes level 11 and it's learning defensive curl which is cool but you know it's whatever my pokemon won't do no they won't leave me alone okay so let's grab this and bam we found ourselves another potion which is great should use one of those potions to one of our pokemon right here and well let's go right ahead and move on now some of you guys would like I'm pretty sure you'd be questioning something hold on let's grab this and we found ourselves our first rare candy which I will be using later on some of you guys I, I would assume yeah some of you guys I would assume are questioning how come I'm not using Thrasher nor Smasher now Thrasher and Smasher these are two Pokemon that I use constantly in different kinds of like you know uh, different kinds of goes on Pokemon on my Pokemon games one of you guys actually wrote it or wrote it down on one of my streams that I do like going back to these games because to me it's home it's what I grew up on um, but I decided that you know I, I have to make a change here and there for different kinds of walkthroughs if I want to make it a little more interesting plus there are po there are different Pokemon that I kind of want to use I never used before and Golem is one of them this is the reason to why I decided to restart this whole thing because well now that Draven knows a little bit more BAM and, well, I know some of you guys would be saying, hey, so what if you learn something else? Are you going to restart again? No. Because, uh, believe it or not, guys, this is it. This is uh, it. I'm going to be progressing through everything, and I am going to go with the times right here. Luckily, you guys have enough content just to watch my stuff while I update a lot of things on here on my channel. And, uh, well... You'll get the good quality, and you get the other quality. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be all fantastic, guys. And well, as you can see, we're kicking Caterpie's butt right here. Not so effective, and yeah, you gotta love the tackle attack and all that crud and missing and all that crud, which is annoying. Crud. <laughs> and yes, I do not like that. So come on, tackle attack for the win. And there we go. Caterpie has been defeated. Yes, yes. And Terramon grows to level 12 which is fantastic and well look at that he's like I lost yes you did you lost okay so let's move on grabbing this item right here we found ourselves an escape rope which you can actually use later on um let's see another thing too guys the main reason to why I'm not editing editing out these wild Pokemon battles is because well I tried it before in the very like in the third time I restarted this game and uh, yeah it yeah, I have to put some points onto that stuff, but this, you know, once we get repels, you'll see that, you know, there's going to be more editing, a lot more stuff going on right here. So, here we have another trainer. Wow! It's way bigger in this uh, than I thought. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Let's do this. Let's go. Alas wants the battle. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we have Tornado ready to go. Get it. Peg attack for the win. And that nearly defeats Oddish. And here comes an Absorb attack. Not my favorite. No. Okay, so here we go. Peg attack yet again. And there goes Oddish. Defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's go with another Bell Sprout right here. Alrighty, so let's go straight up Peck Attack right here, and that nearly defeats this, uh, this Pokemon, and here comes its Growth Attack. Holy crud, okay. So let's go, Peck Attack for the win, and there goes Bellsprout, yes. Feeling great, and Tornado grows to level 14, and yes, we are doing well right here. Oh, I lost it. Yes, you did. Alright, let's move on, and yes, more Pokemon along the way. Holy crud, and here we have another Geodude right here. Okay. Now, I think it's obvious that, you know, I will be using Godzilla because it's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And, uh, I, I've mentioned this quite a few times throughout the last few episodes, but yes, the different Pokemon that I don't use here, they're going to find themselves in another home uh, somewhere down the road. Trust me, guys, I have a lot of things planned out. Uh... Um, th this is why I'm excited to redoing all the all these things and would you look at that. It's a Clefairy Okay, Clefairy I am NOT going to capture you because uh, yeah, de definitely not the Pokemon that I want to get so let's go right here And well, let's see Let's go ahead and grab this we found ourselves the TM01 and From there we're gonna be challenged by another team rocket member. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost kid. Huh. Okay. Let's see what this big job entails. And, well, here we have a Zubat. Crap baskets on a Crapsicle stick. I picked the wrong Pokemon, and it's Tornado. So, let's go. Let's go back to Aaliyah right here. Alright, Aaliyah. You know what to do. And here comes a Leech Life, which... Yeah, okay. So, that is not cool right there. So, let's go with a Thundershock. Yeah, buddy. For the win. And that nearly defeats Zubat. And here comes that Leech Life yet again, and well, let's see. It's not really going to do much, but here comes a Thundershock. Yes, sir. Say goodbye to Zubat, and well, let's see. More experience points for all our Pokemon. Here comes an Ekans. Let's go straight to Terramon right here. Mainly because, well, I, I, I think we can actually make something out of this whole Bide attack right here. So let's go right ahead and use Bide. And I thought so. I really did think, like, I thought that they, well, I knew that this was going to happen, but here comes a Poison Sting attack, and here comes a Wrap attack. Look at that. So, it's going to get a little annoying, and yes, we cannot move, which is ridiculous. Okay, so we are kind of stuck right here. Are we going to be able to use Bide? This is annoying, okay? Wrap attack in Generation 1 is very, very annoying, and here comes a Poison Sting attack. And yes, we unleash the energy. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back to Aaliyah. I really have it in a like I really have it in my head to just get to yell. To yell at, at at Brock for this. And wow, we are poisoned, so yeah, we gotta take care of business right now before we you know end up fainting. And well we are hurt 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 hurt. And here comes a rap attack. So now we're getting double damage. And, oh, good gravy. Okay, so there is a chance we could lose right here. And, alright. Potion. The idea is not to let Aaliyah faint. Okay, so, continue. And there's the attack again. Holy crap. Okay, come on. Come on, Aaliyah, you can do this. You're a fighter. And... Wow, we're getting double damage right here. And here we go, Thundershock. Finish him! Oh my god, no. How in the heck? Oh my god, okay. So this is getting a little too out of hand right here. So let's go straight for another potion. The goal is to not make Aaliyah faint in this walkthrough too, guys. Because, uh, yeah, my niece, she's going to go crazy on me. She is. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a quick attack for the win. And just like that, we defeated the seconds. Yes, we put in the work. Terramon and everybody else. 
And, well, look at that. So, you are so good. Yes, I am. If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. Okay, well, no. Alright, so let's go ahead and use an antidote right here. Give it to Aaliyah because, well, yeah, we kind of... You gotta protect our little Pikachu right here. And, well, let's see. We found ourselves an ether, which could be used to actually, uh, you know, restore some PP. And, well, here comes another... Another Geodude. You know, I could... I could train my Pokemon right here, but that's not the case. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's go... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go straight for back for Aaliyah right here. So, let's see. Pokemon teams... Cannot wait. You guys are still voting on my community page. Let's see how much uh, we get. And there's a Zubat right there. Now, I'm thinking maybe w once I get to Cerulean City, challenge the gym. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Oh, good gravy. Come on. So as you guys can see, yeah. This gets quite annoying. Yeah, it really does get annoying. So let's go right here, and uh, we're going to be battling another trainer. Did you come to explore too? Yes. Okay, so here we go, going up against a, a youngster. And, well, he's coming out with a Rattata. So let's go straight for the Aaliyah. Two mouse Pokemon battling it to the death. Not really, but you know what I mean. And there we go. Oh, wow, this Rattata not taking everything too kindly. And that was a critical hit. How in the heck are these Pokemon getting crits and not me? That's annoying. And there we go, critical hit for us, finally, when it needed. And well, it's coming out with another one. So let's go with Project Pig Hammer right here. And uh, well, Project Pig Hammer, do your thing. Sweep the leg. And uh, yes, I forgot about that. All right, sweep the leg. And just like that, Radita has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Zubat coming back. Okay, let's go straight back to Aaliyah, the Pikachu. And we'll see what ends up happening right now. So, here goes Aaliyah. Let's get it. Thundershock for the win. And just like that, Zubat has been defeated. And we, well, we are doing the best we can. Now, I just realized something. The TM01 happens to be Mega Punch, I believe. Hold on. Yes. So, I can teach this to a Pokemon that is Terramon right here, since it actually needs a better move than Tackle. Let's use another Potion right here. Okay, and one, one more thing. We're going to be going to Pick Hammer, because there is a Pokemon trainer here that, well, we're very, we're all too familiar with. And, well, let's see. Here we have a Geodude, which, yes, we've already caught one. They're abundant right here. Okay, so let's go straight up. Really? This is getting very annoying. How come you didn't put repels at the beginning? Good gravy. This is annoying. Okay, so let's go straight to the run. And let's move up here. And, bam, we're getting a... Well, we're talking to this guy. He's like, whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. A battle against a hiker, and he is coming out with his Geodude right here, which, you know, we all know Pig Hammer has no problem with. Now, where where its, where its legs are at, I do not know, but we're going to go with the low kick. Sweep something, and, well, a pretty sturdy before a sturdy attack. Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Low kick. And just like that, we have defeated Geodude and Pig Hammer. Grows to level 14, and well, Q's coming out with another Geodude, so let's continue on right here, sweeping whatever leg this Geodude has. And again, holy crud, okay, so let's go. Are you serious? Okay, that, that, that gets annoying real quick right there. So here goes the low kick for the win, and well, here comes an Onyx. I've always wanted to capture an Onyx. I really did. I might just do so, maybe, someday. I don't know. But look at that. Super, super effective. And here comes a Screech attack, which, yeah, not so perfect. But here comes a low kick attack right here. And there we go. Onyx has been defeated. And, well, there we go. Look at that. Okay, shocked again. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. 
And yeah, he's telling us we shouldn't be here. So now, if you go up to this corner right here, you'll be able to find yourself a Moonstone. That right there is an evolutionary stone for specific Pokemon like Nidoran, male, female, Clefairy, and, and Jigglypuff. If I'm missing somebody else, I am sorry. Very, very sorry. And well, here's a uh, speak of the devil with Clefairy. Hmm. You know, capturing a Clefairy is very, very enticing, but I do not want to do that right now because. Well, yeah, you know, I already have a team. I already have a team planned out. So let's just move on ahead right here. And Project Pig Hammer is looking a little weak right now. And there we go into the last area. Now, before we do so, let's go ahead and use a potion on this guy. And well, let's see. Let's see. What else do we do? And let's go right upstairs. And I always think that there's an item right here. Yeah, I always think there's an item right there. It is what it is. And seriously, bro, you got you guys got to stop attacking me. Come on, I hate you all. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and do that. Okay, so there we go. Taking on this guy. And little kid should leave grown-ups alone. Why? Just tell me why. So here is another Team Rocket member, and he is coming out with a Rattata. So let's go straight to Project Pig Hammer right here and take care of business again. And here comes the Quick Attack. Not cool. So here we go. Quick Attack yet again. And that right there was super effective. And, well, Project Pig Hammer grows to level 15 and is learning a Karate Chop. Now, believe it or not, Karate Chop is not even a fighting type move. How is that even possible? That's beyond me. All right, let's switch it up to Aaliyah right here, because Aaliyah needs a, uh, you know, Aaliyah needs to destroy people. All right, so here goes a Thunder Shock, and Thunder Shock does it. Maybe not really, but there comes a Super Sonic, so we can't risk that right there. So let's go straight for another, another Thunder Shock, and just like that, we have defeated Zubat. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. So and look at that. Aaliyah grows to level 15 and is trying to learn double team. So this is a move that I really need. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Double team. Yeah, let's go ahead and take away Tail Whip because we don't really need that move anymore. Yeah, Aaliyah's not that physically uh, gifted and all that crud. Not my niece, this Pikachu right here. And, well, you are steamed. And what else do you have to say? Pokemon lived here long before people came. You don't say. Okay, let's move on right here. And... My question is, how, why are Team Rocket members smiling when they're the bad guys? I just don't understand that. I really don't. So let's go, let's get the heck out of here. And let's go ahead and move on right here. Moving, and ser seriously. This is getting ridiculous. And here comes a Clefairy. Should I? Screw it. Let's do it. Karate Chop for the win. And this Clefairy is... Critically hits, so here comes a pound attack. And I'm just gonna capture it because, well, you know, it's just, it's looking at me and it's being like, come on, capture me. And there we go. Clefairy has been captured. And, well, let's see. Clefairy, the fairy type Pokemon, or the fairy Pokemon. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. And no, we're not going to nickname that Pokemon because, well, we can use that Pokemon for later on. And, well, let's see. Just moving, just moving, just moving. Yes. We're going to get attacked by a Pokemon, and I just know it like that. Ugh. And, wow, this is like, uh... This is amazing for me because it's like, Clefairy to me don't often appear like that that much. And we've had quite a few Clefairies up here, and, well, I thought there was going to be a Team Rocket member there, but if you go right here to this corner, you'll be able to find yourself a Moonstone, and uh, you can thank Luroy for that one right there, because for the longest time, it... Wow. Wow. What am I? Did I put... Did I spray Axe Clef for Clefairy? I don't know. Axe for Clefairy. I don't even know. Okay, so... There's one more trainer right there. Let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Terramon right here and see what ends up happening. Now, there are two fossils right there, and Homeboy right here is like, Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay. Now, if it was if it was, if it was up to me, I wouldn't share. 
So here we go, taking on a super nerd, and he's coming out with his Grimer. And it's at the same level as my Terramon, but luckily for us, we taught Terramon Mega Punch. And that takes a nice chunk of HP right there. And luckily for us, yes, this Pokemon has some pretty good defense, so we could last just a little longer with this Pokemon. And there's a Disable attack, and that right there disables Tackle. Now, Disable in Generation 1 doesn't necessarily hit you with the last move. It actually hits a random move, so just be aware of that, guys. And, well, level 13 Terramon, and here comes a Voltorb. Let's continue on with Terramon right here. Hopefully it learns something better than just, you know... This or that, and well, here comes a tackle attack. Not so effective. Here comes the mega punch, and that nearly defeats it. And well, here we go, mega punch yet again. And Voltorb has been defeated. Now, here comes a coughing. Now, the coughings are a little tougher than usual because it does like to poison Pokemon. And I don't like poisoning. I really don't. I, I, it's 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 rather annoying. So let's go straight for the Thunder Shock. And just like that, critical hit. So here comes a smog attack. Good gravy. Alrighty, so here goes Thundershock. And damn it! Okay, so as you can see, it does have some pretty good defenses right there. And well, quick attack for the win. And Aaliyah is victorious yet again. Yes. Okay, so he'll share. Now, you talk to him, he's like, well, each take one. No being greedy. Okay, whatever you say. So now, here we have two fossils. Here we have the Dome Fossil, which eventually will become a Kabuto. And here we have the Helix Fossil, which will become an Ammonite. For me, I kind of want to get myself a Kabuto because, you know, Kabutops. It's a pretty cool Pokemon with its size. And obviously, this guy will pick the opposite. And, uh, well, that Pokemon will be revived later on and be shown near the Safari Zone. Now, if you talk to this guy... Far away on Cinnabar Island, there is a Pokemon lab. They do research in regenerating fossils. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should pay a visit now. We're not completely done, guys. We're not. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Do they, do they or do they not? Let's go with Project Pickhammer, okay? Let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. We know what's coming. It's about to happen, guys. Okay, so now once we're walking away, we step next to the exit right here, and well, you got this. Stop right there. And believe it or not, Jesse and James from Team Rocket. They appear and they're like, that fossil's Team Rocket. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Wow. And just like that, we are taking on both Jesse and James from Team Rocket. And yes, I chose the wrong Pokemon for this one. Good gravy. Okay. Let's switch. Okay, so let's go straight to Terramon. Terramon, let's go. And, well, let's see. There is a Poison Sting attack. Not so effective. So let's go straight for a Mega Punch. And at some point, that, yeah, that Poison Sting is going to hit us a little hard. I don't know if it does affect us, but here goes a Mega Punch, and good gravy. The Wrap Attack right here is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be bad. Actually, I'm not liking it right now with the whole Wrap Attack. Are you serious, man? Come on! Oh, God, I hate Wrap. I really do. I used to hate Wrap, the music, but now I like it. But I hate Wrap right here. Holy crud. Come on! And yes, yeah, so you're gonna be using a Leer attack, and there we go, Mega Punch for the win. Damn it! Okay. Yeah, this is getting annoying. This is getting annoying. Come on! Use the Force, Terramon. Yeah, this is getting very, very annoying. Mm-hmm. Very annoying. Okay, tackle attack. Come on. Critical hit, not super effective, but we get poisoned. Seriously? Good gravy. Okay, there we go. Tackle attack for the win. Eat it. Okay. Alrighty. Terramon this. And it grows to level 14. Great. Now it's coming out with a Meowth. So let's go straight to Project Pig Hammer and watch a pig monkey beat the crud out of a, a talking cat, which he kind of does not talk to. But, you know, it's what it, it is what it is. So here we go. We're going for the uh, double, or not double kick, but what the heck? Oh, my God. That is one strong Meowth, and well, we are even stronger. That is a good sweep the leg attack, and here comes a coughing, so let's go straight to Aaliyah. Hopefully, hopefully we get some paralysis, no poisoning and all that crud. 
And Thundershock for the win. Come on. Critical hit. And yes, Paralysis. And Crap Baskets. Uh, Gravy. Okay, I was about to say, dang. It, it poisoned us. And wow, this Pokemon is not going down without a fight. And well, there goes a Thundershock again. And say goodbye to coughing. I am feeling great. There you go. A Brett beat us? Yes. Blessed off at the speed of light! Okay, Team Rocket. Whatever, okay. And... Yeah, Pikachu loves it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so Pikachu is definitely loving everything. And, well, we're going to be moving on ahead right here. And I completely forgot about this guy right here. So let's go straight for... The antidote to Terramon right here. Now, I actually thought it would not get uh, poisoned, but yeah, it is what it is. So, here we are in, I believe, the continuation of Route 3. And there really isn't a lot that you can do right here, guys, except for maybe find one item. Maybe just one item. And there are a patch of grass right there, which you can find some pretty cool Pokemon. Here we found a TMO4. I do believe it's Whirlwind. And, well, there is a trainer waiting for us right there. But we won't be able to go there until we have, uh, we've obtained the Surf Technique. So, we're going to be moving on. And, uh, well, look at this. We are in Cerulean City, guys. Finally, after 30, 30 long minutes of this whole thing right here. So... We're going to pause right here, guys. In the next episode, I want to battle the gym leader. I'm going to be training my Pokemon off screen. Or mainly Pikachu, just so I can actually put up a fight against these guys. Uh, depending on what happens, we'll see what happens. You guys know what I mean. We might battle the trainers uh, up at the Nugget Bridge. We might battle the gym leader. Who knows? I kind of want to battle the gym leader mainly because of uh, it unlocks a few things. So... What's going to happen is a lots of training. So, uh, let's see. What else? What else? Yes. If you guys want to make a donation to this channel, yes, comment down below. Uh, there's a link right there. Uh, anything will help. And, well, let's see. If you guys know, yes, I am sponsored by Dubby. So, use uh, the code right there to get yourself some good pre-workouts and whatnot. And, well, yeah, subscribe and comment. Or, no, subscribe and click on the, the, the link right there or whatever. You know, the button. You'll get notifications. You know what I mean, guys. I've been talking for 30 long minutes. I'll see you guys next time.